Hi guys! Long time no video, but I've been studying because it's midterm season right now for me at my school. My school runs on a quarter system, so basically it's only 10 weeks long and right now it's already week 5, so it's like basically midterms. And so yeah, I've just been really busy with studying and I found a little free time so I decided to film this video. Also, a study-related video will be coming soon. I'm in the process of editing and filming it because I was filming as I was studying for my midterms. So it's going to be a how I study for exams type of video. And that should be up sometime this or next week. Um, with the new year, I decided I wanted to film monthly favorites because I do really enjoy, like, other things like makeup and stuff and skincare and I thought it would be interesting to share what products I liked each month and it just won't be makeup and skincare there will be like study related things and anything that I enjoyed that month like a song or a movie or a tv show and um yeah I really do enjoy makeup. It, even in my YouTube channel description, I included the word beauty, but I haven't gone around to filming any beauty videos because I don't think I'm good enough to film makeup tutorials. I just really enjoy makeup. I'm not a makeup artist or anything, so yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just going to get into the video and show you my favorites of January. And oh my god, January flew by so quickly. So the first two things that I really enjoyed this past month are these two eyeshadows. And they're a they're from a Korean brand. And it's from the brand Aritam. I really enjoy Korean beauty products because they're really good quality for how much you pay. Like... I think they're really good. It's really inexpensive. The only downside with Korean beauty products is that you have to buy it online and then you have to wait for shipping, but that's not really bad because usually with the websites I buy from, the shipping is really inexpensive and quick. I get my products within two weeks, sometimes even a week. So yeah, they're really, really cheap. Each eyeshadow was less than $5. Like three to four dollars which i find is a really good deal um these are part of the mono eyes line and these are really popular within the korean beauty like world i guess um they're really nice um the two colors i've been using a lot are number 114 and number 26 and number 114 is um up next and number 26 is sweetest i'll show you guys swatches on my arm but number 114 up next is like a really pretty light brown color my swatches aren't doing it justice so i'm probably going to include better swatches too but it's a pinkish brown it's very light and very glittery the two shadows are very glittery glittery they have glitters shimmers mattes and pearls i believe in the line um there's a wide range of colors that you can choose from number 26 is a darker brown and it's also very glittery because i've been really into glitter i've been really into glittery glittery eyeshadows. They're the colors that I'm wearing on my eye right now. I have the lighter shade up next all over my eyelid and then I have sweetest in the outer corner. And then for the month of January, the face product that I've been loving or well I'll go with the primer first. So the primer I've been really loving is this one from Burberry and it's the fresh glow luminous liquid base and number one new gradients and this actually is the holiday edition because of the gold cap i got this during the vib sale so it was around november and i don't believe they still have this version like with the gold cap um the normal packaging is with the gunmetal type of color the grayish silver color 
and so when I saw this school packaging, I was like, oh my god, I need it, so I bought it during the VIP sale, so I got like 20% off, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I don't know, I really love this space. If you're really into the glowy look and, I don't know, the glowy, dewy type of look, I think you'll really enjoy this space. You should go to like Sephora and get like a little sample and try it out because it's so good. It makes my makeup look so nice and it stays on all day. It makes me look really healthy and radiant and glowy and I really enjoy that look. I prefer looking glowy over looking matte, but it's up to personal preference. If you like the matte look, then maybe this isn't for you, but it makes your skin look really healthy and luminous and I really love it. Um, the next face product that I've been using and it's currently on my face is the Laneige BB Cushion and Whitening. Um, the color I have is in number 21 beige. Um, there's two versions of this cushion. There's the whitening version, which I have, and the, I forgot what it's called, but the pore control. Yeah, that's what it's called. There's the whitening version and the pore control, and I have the whitening. It's not really whitening per se. It's more of like brightening, and it's the more dewy or the more moisturizing BB cushion because the pore control is the matte version I don't really wear matte foundations or base products I prefer looking glowy like I said and dewy so yeah um this is what the inside of the cushion looks like it's different from other cushions because um I believe last year was when they released this and it has like this honeycomb diamond type of thing and it just it helps your sponge pick up product easier i don't know if that makes sense but uh, i really like it it's a really good cushion and if you're not really into the dewy look i also recommend the pore control because i've heard that one is really really good for oily skin types as well. Um, my skin type is dry slash normal. Um, during the winter time it gets really dry so I really like moisturizing products. And then the next face product that I've been really really enjoying is this highlighter from Dior and it's called the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer and I have it in the color 001 and it's just so pretty. I love this highlighter so much. It gives you I'm not really into like that intense highlight. If you're really into that intense highlight, this might not be for you. Um, it's more of like a, I don't know, like a refined type of highlight. It looks really elegant in my opinion. It looks really nice. It's so smooth and creamy and it's just so pretty and it looks like this. It's this type of color. It's a champagne gold with some pink in it and I'll swatch it for you. It's just so, 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 so gorgeous. You can't even see it. But yeah, it's a really, really, really pretty highlight and I've been wearing it every day. Then my next face product that I've been really enjoying is this contour and highlight stick from Etude House. It's also a Korean brand. Um, it's called the Play 101 stick and I got it in number one and that's the highlight contour one because they also have another one but yeah on one side you get a highlight and on the other side you get a contour i don't really use a highlight because i'm not a fan of cream highlighters i think they accentuate my pores and you know trouble spots i think it looks really ugly on me but if you have really nice skin maybe it'll look prettier on you but i really really enjoy the contour set I basically just do the three and then I contour my nose with this and it's just really creamy and blendable and I really recommend it. My last face product is this blush from NARS and it's the color Sex Appeal and it's what I have on my cheeks right now. It's a really light peachy pink color and I think it's really really pretty. And then my last two favorite beauty products for this month are um the Giorgio Armani Lip Magnet in number 504 and the Benefit Cha Cha Tint.
I'm currently wearing the Benefit Cha Cha tint right now. I think it's super pretty. When you swatch it, it looks really orange, but it's actually pink. It's a pinky coral color. So that's the Cha Cha tint. But it's what I have on my lips. And I think Benefit describes it as like a mango color. I don't know. I think mangoes are more orangey yellow than this. During the past month, I wore it so often, even though like it's winter time and I guess darker colors are in. I've just been really into corals. It's a really pretty tint. And this is probably one of my favorite products of 2016 and January. It is so, so lightweight. Um, I think it will fall into the category of liquid lipsticks. But the formula is so, so nice. And I really love this color. This color was sold out for like a long time. I believe it's back in stock on Sephora now. But I bought it from Nordstrom. But yeah. I really like the wand too. It's really unique. Um, It looks like a triangle. And then there's like this metal, metal tip in the middle. But this is what that color looks like. It's a pinky nudie color and I really like it. I really like corally colors if you can't tell. But yeah. I wore this so much during I bought it when it came out. And I think that was sometime during the winter of last year and it was like the color that I wore most often during the past few months. <laughs> Besides the beauty products, my last favorites for January are Muji pens. And then I have them in my pencil bag and I actually filmed a What's in My Pencil Bag video like last year, I believe. And I'm gonna film an updated one soon, so yeah. Because things have changed. These are the Muji pens and I'm pretty sure you've all seen them. If you're into stationery, but I got these off of Amazon because the closest Muji store to me is in LA and that's like 40 minutes away from where I live and I don't got time to drive all the way down to LA. But um, I bought these off of Amazon and I'll leave the link down below and I really, really enjoy them. I got the 0 0.38 ones. I know they also come in 0 0.5, but I prefer thinner tips for my pens because I think it looks prettier. Um, I'll do a little swatch video and insert it into this video as well so you can see the colors and like how fine they actually are. But I really like the way they write. They write so smoothly and I really like the wide range of colors. Yeah. I've been really enjoying these and I totally understand the hype. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and a study related video will be coming soon. So yeah, if you don't really enjoy these type of videos, don't worry, I'll still keep making study related videos. But um, just be aware that I am going to start trying to do monthly favorites every week.